What's popping? What's going on in the world of a Capricorn? Mid-month August to the 31st. Are y'all behaving? Are y'all saying it with your chest? Are you speaking up for your damn self? Y'all not having that shit naive? Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo hey, I'm Mocha. Uh, Y'all, I would like to thank everybody for subscribing. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We grow, we enlighten, we uplift, we love, we do not judge, we don't do that shit over here, we evolve, okay? So y'all, I love y'all very much. Thank y'all for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the... Y'all, the love. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for coming on this journey with me as well as evolving and growing with me as I allow my light to shine to you guys and talking to you guys and actually healing through situations and getting to the root of things, y'all. It's a beautiful experience for me to be able to share my enlightenment, my love, my wisdom, my sage wisdom with you guys. So I'm thankful for that and I'm thankful that y'all are so receiving and accepting. Thank you so very much, y'all. Y'all, this is not a personal reading. It's a general, okay? If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I am having a reading special up until the 20th of this month, so get in on that, okay? Go look at that breaking news video. I said I was going to stop it on the 11th. I told a little fib. I love y'all too much, so I did extend it to the 20th because a lot of people were getting in on it late, and I wanted to make sure everybody got uh, their opportunity to get in, okay? So, let's rock, all right? Um, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, as well as Venus and cross roster cross watchers of the sign of Capricorn from the 15th to the 31st of August okay so the first message that I will be reading to you guys is the crystal angels or the cards from the ring virtue okay the card that you guys pulled was unikite okay it says answer prayers all your work all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support you've been doing great work recently to forgive release and focus upon positivity and oneness because God respects your free will choices, by choosing the healing path of love, you have opened the doorway for your prayers to be answered. God hears and answers all prayers and does not discriminate. However, if we have shut down our hearts to God's connection, we may not hear the whispered answers. A negative focus also casts doubt upon the likelihood of divinely guided plans, working, listening, our faith. This card is a sign that you've shifted to a conscious connection with God's pure healing love. You are praying with sincerity and willingness to be guided and helped. This positive shift within you is an answer to, to your own prayers for peace and happiness. The external circumstances will now shift accordingly as they are uplifted to the highest and best outcomes. Okay? So, Capricorns. A lot of things shifting, baby. Releasing the old, the season of the reef. Lease, okay, the releasing <laughs> the old and embracing the newness, okay, even if it's renewed newness, okay. So let's rock. Capricorns, I feel like a lot of, during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be balancing yourself, getting yourself back centered and grounded, okay. For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, who uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius, who you feel like knocked you off your damn rocker, this person could also be a twin flame to you. But you feel like this person knocked you off your damn rocker, you are going to be aligning yourself and centering yourself during this time, okay. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Libra, okay? I feel like this person, for some of y'all, it's a twin. For some of y'all, it's a karmic. But this person comes to bring you, they come to surface things that you truly need to heal from, okay, in order for you to move forward. And you turn your pain into power, okay? I'm hearing pain into power. Turning your pain into power. A lot of y'all are... Um, Kind of seeing the beauty in the situation and you make the decision on if you want to work through it and keep it. And a lot of y'all are putting up, putting, putting up a fight during this time. Some of y'all are making the decision um, because you feel like it's the wisest thing to do to let some things and people go. Okay? Because they're not good for your growth. If they're not good for your growth, then, you know, y'all not agree, right? Okay? So I do see... Um, here, some of y'all have a lot of options during this time. One includes a water sign that it's really hard for you to walk away from, okay? This person could also be, this person you could feel like has a lot of options. This person is very, very intuitive. Their third eye is booming. Capricorns, a lot of y'all are going through an awakening right now where your third eye is opening, okay? And in it opening, you're learning how to receive love. Receive love. You're learning to um, 
embrace love from a different place okay you're learning to embrace both the emotional sides of love as well as the intellectual sides of love hell yes there is an intellectual side of love it's just how you perceive it okay you have to know when to use your emotions over intellect okay but you're definitely some of y'all don't know how to balance family situations as well as work situations i feel like that has been quite the issue as far as grounding yourselves, you know, but during this time, you're going to be realigning the season of the re releasing, realigning, okay, reestablishing things and priorities. Capricorn, a lot of y'all are going to be starting something new with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and it is divinely guided. It's a fresh start with this person. This could definitely be a new person. This person, I feel like when you look at this person, this person is very ambitious. You look at them as very loving, very nurturing, very caring. This person is. This person was sent to you to help you balance yourself and nurture your heart. Um, I feel like this person is very mature. They're very wise. Okay, but during this time, y'all all in love and shit. You finding the beauty within yourself. Some of y'all are falling in love with yourself again after releasing some things and moving away, but not looking at it from a period of, from a standpoint of what I lost, but actually what I gained. Okay, what I learned. How I'm going to move forward with what I learned in my best way on my best shit. <laughs> Simple pimple. Some of y'all definitely have a welcoming in new children, possibly with the fire sign. Congratulations, my love. Some of y'all are wanting a renewed start with the fire sign or you chasing your passions. You're, you're so, you have a passionate start coming during this month as well. I feel like a lot of y'all, it definitely can be an Aries. You see it with the ram hands there. Look, look at all kinds of stuff. Okay, but some of y'all could actually be wanting to start something new or birthing something new. Some of y'all are having kids with Aries, period, point blank. If you're dealing with an Aries, you're a Capricorn man, this person could be pregnant, okay? Or you would like to bring kids into the world. Some of y'all are starting a new business that you're passionate about, and that sucker is going to boom, okay? Congratulations, Capricorn. This is good shit. Man, some of y'all are learning how to... <laughs> Give and receive in love. I feel like this is more so a receptivity. Okay, you're you're taking on this attitude of receptivity. You're not allowing anybody to take more than they're giving. I feel so much love in y'all energy, Capricorn. A lot of y'all are dealing with water signs and air signs or maybe a fire sign. Okay, during this time I see some of y'all have a decision to make. You don't know which way to go. Both both paths, okay, I feel like one path can balance you and one path can take you back and, or make you feel like you're stuck in a situation. There's definitely an, an internal fight going on um, having to do with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you you have clarity on the situation, but you don't want to see it, okay, for some of y'all. But you need to make a judgment call during this time. For some of y'all, this does re uh, uh, does revolve around a, um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Scorpio strongly or cancer i feel like some of y'all needed to make a judgment call on a um regarding a cancer or a previous family situation but for some of y'all you get ready to have a towel moment regarding i feel like family and you're going to need to make a judgment call and this towel moment is going to come in it's going to shake shit up but it's going to allow you it's going to kind of force some of y'all to make a decision right so spirit please give me the messages for Fifteen. Um, some of y'all are going to get some truth, possibly from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this truth is going to allow you to move forward, okay, or end a cycle and go into a new one, okay, go into a more loving cycle, or this truth is going to release some of y'all from a relationship that you've been standing in, not growing, okay, maybe you haven't been um, communicating, okay, maybe you've been communicating cute and flirty with the person, okay, but during this time, you're going to be ending cycles and being just straightforward with people, you know, you're going to get those internal feelings and Bring them to the damn surface and speak your mind and speak your truth. And some of y'all, this could be happening um, on the externally from you. Some of y'all are getting some, getting some truth and clarity, possibly regarding an Aquarius. Could involve a Taurus as well. But this person is, whew, this person can be a mother figure or maybe a baby mother or you could be the baby mother. But you're not playing with people when it comes to what it is that you need and what it is that you expect in order to move forward because you're wanting to make 
grounded offers you wanting to nurture somebody you're very passionate about someone some of y'all this is another earth sign capricorn towards virgo okay or this could be a fire sign all right strong emphasis on an aries because i'm looking at the cardinal birds but this can also be the cancer a libra another capricorn like yourself as well but somebody is going to be telling some truth during this time and honestly it's going to be able to Make your relationship or break your relationship. Watch out for the snakes, Capricorn. Some of y'all got people around just waiting for the come up. They ain't talking about being down for the come up. They just waiting for the come up. What's the difference? Y'all got flyers. I'm going to take them. You know, I take all the flyers. Yeah, but some of y'all are wanting to start over. Start something new, possibly with the Leo, okay? This person, maybe you just recently started back communicating with this person. Okay, but you wanting to turn the situation around going through a new cycle with someone okay again watch out for the snakes you have every resource that you need capricorn you have you have the wisdom but some of y'all are wanting to nurture a relationship i feel like i'm speaking to somebody who's married okay um some of y'all or have children with someone some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a pisces you want to nurture a situation after moving forward um, um, or leaving behind a three-party situation okay some of y'all could have had an air sign to put you in a three-party situation uh with a leo or a um a water sign as well okay but you're going to be receiving truth and clarity about it for some of you is going to be the truth that you need to allow you to move forward away and for some of y'all it's going to be a releasing so that you can move forward okay and actually stabilize a relationship or renew it in a way okay for some of y'all shit's gonna hit the fan and it's gonna truth is gonna be revealed and it's kind of going to back somebody up in the corner because um, whomever this air sign is, the truth about them may fall in your lap, literally. Like, I don't see you, look, you looking for this. It's just going to fall in your lap. Yeah, some of y'all have a toxic uh, Taurus or a Libra around y'all. But some of y'all, it could be... Some of y'all have a codependent relationship with someone, okay, and that needs to change. Some of y'all literally feel stuck in a relationship, possibly with the father or the mother of your children. And you, and you needed to make a decision because this person possibly makes you feel rejected. Or maybe this person possibly feel like you abandon them, you choose money over them, okay? Um, for some of y'all, it's a Gemini. Okay, some of y'all have a Gemini internally fighting themselves, you internally fighting yourself. Fighting yourself about wanting to move forward and work on things. And during this time, y'all are going to be speaking your truths about it, okay? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, you wanted to make a solid offer to this person. You wanted to communicate passionately, but you feel like... You feel like you have to, some of y'all feel like you have to be on the defense, okay, when communicating with this person, because this person can be real reckless by the damn mouth. For some of y'all, y'all going to be receiving communication. Oh, my, y'all got my nose and my feet to you, Capricorn. Excuse me. Y'all going to be receiving communication, okay, uh, from possibly an Aries from your past, okay, or you possibly wanting to communicate with them, but some of y'all are going to let them, that person know up front, I'm not, I've healed, I've been healing, I'm not what you coming in my life for the bullshit. Come right or don't come at all. Yeah, some of y'all are coming out of a cycle of allowing the air sign to talk to you crazy and give you not the love that you deserve, but just a little bit. I don't feel like it's an equal give and take in love if you're dealing with an air sign. And I feel like that's what you need in your life, balance. So some of y'all are ending the cycle. Uh, some of y'all are ending the cycle and going into a new one, okay, with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong emphasis on the Taurus. Some of y'all are possibly moving away or moving towards a Leo. Some of y'all miss y'all Leo. Some of y'all are welcoming in new babies. Congratulations, Capricorn. Yeah, some of y'all are healing from a soulmate relationship where there wasn't an equal give and take. You feel like this person could have been in your life. Like, I feel like this person, you give, give, give financially and they take, take, take and don't never offer you shit. Some of y'all are making a judgment call about a situation, a resurrecting, uh, resurrecting a family situation, okay, well, there's a lot of passion, but some of y'all definitely involves a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of y'all are going to definitely have this tall moment, um, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, or just water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Some of y'all have a tall moment coming forward that's going to allow someone to move away. Literally, somebody's going to move away from the past and just move forward because I feel like someone is on a journey in this relationship to ascend and on a higher consciousness and someone is not. 
someone had, one of y'all have a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person could be like coming in and they're like trying to finesse the situation. Hell yes, I said finesse. For those of you who don't know what finesse means, suave, you know, come in and, and smooth talk, smooth talker. They're going to try to finesse the situation, okay? They're going to possibly communicate with you passionately, but this person is literally just stalking, trying to get to see and know your business, what you've been doing, who you've been doing it with, how long you've been doing it, okay? But they're coming in offering a new beginning. Some of y'all have a Leo that you, some of y'all, some of y'all want to start fresh with a, an, with an Aquarius, okay? And I feel like in the past, you and this person have had such a, such a chaotic relationship, or this person could be coming forward with an offer to you, okay? Because I feel like you want to you want to work it out with this person. You could definitely have children with this person. Some of y'all could recently could have recently possibly had a fling and find out that this person is pregnant and this person is cutting his hell. Or or uh, find out you're pregnant. You could be pregnant and this person is cutting like, oh my goodness, I'm pregnant by this asshole. Yeah, because kids in the building. I'm pregnant by this asshole. Oh my goodness. For some of y'all, you want to nurture the situation you want to make it work with this person okay um some of y'all have some of y'all don't know if you want to leave or stay at your job some of y'all are going to be moving forward okay uh in a relationship from it some of y'all going to be moving forward in a relationship especially if you're dealing with a fire sign aries leo sag and you're just going to move and be abundant by yourself you're literally going to focus on your money okay but y'all definitely coming out of this indecision this indecision the situation that you did not want to see or make a decision on, literally the universe is taking it out of your hands because I feel like you've been trying to hold on to possibly the mother of your child or if you're the mother, you've been trying to hold on to somebody, especially if this is another earth sign or a water sign. You've been trying to hold on to this person and nurture this person. This person don't know what the hell they want. If they want to be in a relationship or if they want to be single, okay? Um, Yeah, for some of y'all, you're making a judgment call on the Pisces. Regarding the Pisces, you want to go into a new cycle with this person, but you're needing to see things for what they are. Okay, for most of y'all, y'all could turn around situations, but for some of y'all, baby, it's time to go because this person, yeah, you know, for some of y'all, it's in uh, you know, some of y'all is a Taurus, okay, and for some of y'all, it is a Leo or a water sign. This person keeps you in three party energy at all times, like. They come forward, they make a hell of an offer, a new start, let's start over, okay? Some of y'all are going into a new cycle, a new beautiful cycle with someone who you've been trying to hang in there and stabilize with. God definitely heard your prayers, baby. You put in the work, all right? So if you're willing to put in the work, God is definitely willing to turn it around for you. And for that situation, especially if it's involving the Sagittarius, move forward. Turn your situation around, but definitely communicate that the toxic shit must stop. And he will be doing that during this time. The wisdom you're attaining, Capricorn. Yeah, some of y'all are, somebody is trying to make a family situation work, okay? Capricorn, your intention is to start over, let's start fresh, okay? And this person that you're doing this with, if they're a fire sign for some of y'all, this person confrontational as hell. Um, and I feel like it's always little dumbass arguments that you feel like you can't move forward, you know, with this person through. And it's I feel like it's petty shit. For some of y'all, it's literally like, you know, you want this family structure, but you always in work, Capricorn. You have to learn how to balance. Okay, because for some of y'all, you're gonna get your wish. Answer prayers. It's a time of it's a time of giving, baby. You're gonna get that truth and clarity. For some of y'all, it's involving children. Okay? But for some of y'all, you're gonna need to give that truth and truth. And clarity needs to be given before you can even make a move and start over in love. And for some of y'all, it's definitely a cancer, okay? But the end result is you victoriously moving forward from your past, okay? In love, okay? For some of y'all, you're moving forward from a water sign in the past to put you in three-party situations because you're going to trust your intuition and don't don't attach yourself to outcomes because for some of y'all, you're going to get your ten of pentacles with the person you've been with. But for some of y'all, you're going to get your ten of pentacles elsewhere, all right? Shimani's looking swell though. I love y'all very much, Capricorn. This is what I have for y'all for the mid month of August. I will see y'all in September with red hair if I'm feeling myself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Love y'all, babies.